If your dog has an upset stomach, your vet may recommend chicken and rice to help settle it. If possible, choose high-quality chicken breast that is free of added hormones. The cooking process will also be easier if you get chicken that already has the bones, skin, and excess fat removed. Short or long-grain white rice works best, but you can also use brown rice to prepare the chicken. Remove any skin and bones, then cut the meat into small cubes. For smaller dogs, make the cubes about 0.5 inches, 1.3 centimeters across. For medium to large breeds, they can be 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters. Make sure you completely remove any bones since they could damage your dog's stomach or intestines. Put the chicken in a large pot with enough water to completely cover the meat. Bring the water to a boil. Then reduce the heat and let it simmer until the chicken is white all the way through. This may take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Once the chicken is cooked, take it out of the water and let it cool completely. Set aside the broth you created, since you'll be using it to cook the rice. While the chicken is cooking, skim the fat off the top of the broth and measure out 2.5 cups, 591 milliliters, into a pot. Bring the broth to a boil. Then pour in one cup, 210 grams, of well-rinsed rice. Return the broth to a boil. Then reduce the heat and let it simmer with a lid on for about 20 minutes. If you're cooking brown rice, you may need 40 to 45 minutes. The rice is done once it's nice and soft and all the water is absorbed. To feed the chicken and rice to your dog, wait for them to cool completely. Then mix the chicken into the rice with a fork. Aim for a ratio of about two to three parts chicken to one part rice. Follow your vet's instructions to determine how much chicken and rice to feed to your dog at a time, and how and when to transition your pup back to its regular diet.